So look y'all, I don't know why, but lately I've been craving lamb chops. If you follow me on Instagram, you know the other night I went to Eddie V's, I got the lamb chops. They were, uh, they were all right. I gave them like a six out of 10. They wasn't the best, they wasn't the worst. So yesterday I went to my favorite spot, Asian Nine. I didn't go there to vlog nothing. I just went there and was like, you know what? I'm gonna try the lamb chops here. Not gonna lie to y'all, bro. They was a 10 out of 10, bro. Like them jokes was hitting. I gotta go today, y'all. I gotta, I gotta show y'all this. So this year, I'm gonna attempt to do vlogmas, you guys. Today is December 1st. I'm gonna try to vlog every single day until Christmas. And do not hold me to this, you guys. I'm gonna try my hardest. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, bro. It's hard to think of ideas every freaking day. But like, if you know places that you want me to try, let me know in the comments. I'm gonna try to give y'all videos, whether it's mukbangs or just anything, y'all. I'm gonna try to keep posting. All right, y'all. So I'm putting up to the Asian nine right now. About to actually meet my cousin here. She's a big fan of Asian 9 too. And we're gonna see what's up. Yo, Shay, is this one of your favorite restaurants? I love this is my favorite spot. It's my favorite restaurant. Hello. So look, y'all, this Nookie right here. Say what's good, Nook. Everything. Especially this guy is very good. <laughs> so look, y'all. My cousin, she told me to gatekeep. She told me not to tell you guys about the about the lamb chops. She don't want y'all to know about it, but look. You already know I had to get y'all help. Why, why, why you ain't went through the note, Breezy? I'm not interested in y'all blowing up my favorite spot. That's why. I so here they go right here, y'all. The Asian nine lamb chops. You see it's market price. So yesterday when I came, the market price was like $32. See, the thing is about market prices, I feel like if they want, they could be like $50. You know what I'm saying? Like you never know. But shit, it was $32 yesterday. Hopefully the market price is the same day that it was yesterday. Classic mojitos, and this is Thank the peace Cheers. So the lamb chops come with wasabi mashed potatoes and broccoli, but I was, really wasn't in the mood for broccoli, so I told them instead of that, can I have asparagus? So I swapped it out. So they just brought out my drink, y'all, and look, one night in Bangkok, this joint hit. Got the lychee, you know what I'm saying, the cherry. It's like one of my favorite drinks in here. Like Martin. <laughs> Don't hate every time. So here go a look at the lamb chops, y'all. Even though I asked for asparagus instead of broccoli, they still gave me broccoli, but they gave me asparagus too. The lamb chops are glazed in like some type of mango sauce. I don't know why. But the mango sauce almost reminds me of barbecue sauce. It's like eating barbecue ribs or something. The lamb chop right here is full of meat. Not gonna lie to y'all, bro. This one pretty small. But they still hitting though. So that's the thing you gotta worry about. Y'all might come and then you gotta worry about size because sometimes they might be big, sometimes they might be small. But the flavor still hit. I got them cooked medium well. They juicy. And it's just the fact that like, Asian 9 got better lamb chops than Eddie V's, bro. I was so disappointed at Eddie V's the other night. Yo, look how juicy that joint look. You see the, the meat's kind of red a little bit. But that's because I asked him to make it medium well. Get your lamb chops the same way you would get your steak. Now we got the wasabi mashed potatoes. As y'all see, they look like normal mashed potatoes, but wasabi's mixed inside of it. Joints bang, bro. Like, the mango sauce is all over top of the, the mashed potatoes. So it's almost like a gravy, you know what I mean? Like, I never thought about putting wasabi and mashed potatoes, but it complements it well, like. They didn't put too much where it's spicy, but it's enough where you taste straight wasabi in the junk. Top tier mashed potatoes. I wasn't really a fan of the broccoli yesterday because it's just steamed, so it really doesn't have like season or nothing on it. It's just steamed broccoli. Yeah. It's alright. And then the asparagus. It's just steamed. Mm. These don't hit. Before I started doing YouTube, I did not like lamb, y'all. Well, the thing is, I didn't even have lamb before. I wasn't eating it. Now that I do these food reviews, y'all, I love lamb, and these are some top tier lamb chops. I normally come here for like fried rice, chicken lo mein, uh, orange shrimp. But now I'm coming for the lamb chops, y'all. 
Dead serious. So the bartender just gave me this drink right here. She said it's whiskey. <laughs> it's pretty good. I think she put like cinnamon or something inside of it. it has a good taste to it. I wish I could tell y'all what it's called, but I asked her. She said she doesn't know. It's just like a random drink that she made. If you guys want to try it and you come here, ask them for the random drink that you made peaks. She brought out another drink. What, what's in this drink? She said that she's going to name this the Peak, y'all. So if y'all come in here, ask for the Peaks. Yes, the Peak. It's so good. Right? She says it's got some like Jack Daniel, like a splash of Henny or something else up in this. I don't know, y'all. I normally don't drink Henny, but this is on hitting. Drink it, drink it. Shot, shot, shot. <laughs> Finish it. There you go. Woohoo! Y'all gotta try this. If y'all come here, be like, let me get that Peak drink. That's what this is. That's what I'm. All right, y'all. So I'm leaving Asia Nine right now. The food was pretty good. Only thing is, Shayla, she didn't like her lamb chops today. And like, I'm realizing something now, y'all. She said her lamb chops was too tough, but she got the medium well. And a lot of restaurants when I go to and I get my steaks medium well, sometimes they'll mess up and they'll have it well done and then it won't hit. You feel me? Like it'll be way too tough. So when you guys are ordering like lamb chops or you guys are ordering like steaks, always ask for medium because they always accidentally overcook it a little bit so if you ask for medium they're going to give you medium well you know what i mean and if you ask for medium well they're going to give you well done so you guys got to ask for medium that's what it was i think that's the reason why she didn't mess with it but the food is pretty good y'all if you go in there ask for that peach drink bro that peach drink hit she said it got hennessy in that junk and it also got some whiskey in that junk what was the issue with your lamb chop so today they were like tough like I was like biting it and like pulling it and like it wasn't coming off the bone. Like I even showed I'm like, oh my god. And I hate complaining. I never complain there because it's my favorite freaking restaurant. But she offered to take it away, so I just got my orange shrimp instead. You know what's crazy to me? Shayla used to love like her steaks and all that stuff well done and eat it tough. Now she can't stand it. Like she hates when her meat is overcooked. I hate it. It's so nasty. It's so chewy. It hurts my teeth. Damn, I thought these shits was automatic. <laughs> <laughs> so we at Target right now, y'all. We just finished eating at Asia 9. And we about to go ahead and we're going to do a little bit of Christmas shopping real quick. Shayla always gives me her purse so she can use the bathroom. But now I got to use the bathroom with the purse. Like, it's weird, y'all. So what's crazy is my kids don't even play with toys, bro. Like, they play with video games, tablets, stuff like that. So it's like, we in here looking for toys for the kids. But the kids ain't even going to play with this stuff. You think the kids going to play with this? Yes. Stop lying. No, I'm so, they love stuffed animals. What are you talking about? Please, yes. Isn't that cool? You know, it's a fan and it blows into the thing. Bruh, she's just picking out anything at this point. Bruh, I know what my daughter likes. Bruh, how often do you think that she's going to build a tent and want to plant out of a tent? She's like, going to ask me to do it every single day. Bruh, be fucking for real. She's going to play with this shit for like one week. After Christmas is over, she's never playing with that shit again. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Back in the day, most of my gifts came from either the church or my gifts came from like this little snowflake thing that they had at school where like, it's like a wish list. Like you write down stuff that you want, you put your snowflake on the wall and then like random students, parents that are like volunteer and stuff, they would grab the snowflakes and then they would purchase like items on there. You ever got like snowflake gifts? Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't know. My parents never told me stuff like that. You, your parents told you a lot of shit when you were young. Now that she mentioned it, y'all, she right. My parents did tell me a lot a of lot. stuff. We, we didn't, I don't know nothing about, maybe I did have a snowflake, but my, my parents never told me that. I'm going to get my son this. This that furry convention joke. Like, if you ever been to a furry convention, you're supposed to dress up as like your spirit animal. And yeah, this going to be my spirit animal right here, a dinosaur. As y'all see, that boy Peaks ready for the furry convention. <laughs> You already know what type of time I'm on. If reptilians was real, bruh, this is what they would look like. What do you think I am, sir? I'm a reptilian. He's scared, y'all. And I don't blame him. You know what a reptilian is? What is it? You like it? You don't know what a reptilian is? You want is? this for Christmas? This is, I'll buy you this for Christmas. A rep so. A reptilian is Joe Biden and them. Okay. Apparently they aliens. That's what I that's what I'm hearing. I don't know if it's true or not. 